Russian forces are going all out to capture the city of Mariupol and have reportedly even entered the heart of the city. But in spite of the siege on Mariupol that Rajesh was just telling us about, has been on for a week now, Ukrainians are refusing to give in. Officials are being defined. They've rejected a Russian offer that their forces in the besieged strategic port city of Mariupol lay down arms and raise white flags in exchange for safe passage out. Ukraine says there is no question of surrendering the city after Russia called on Ukrainian forces on Sunday to lay down arms. The Deputy Prime Minister of the country has said, and I quote, there can be no question of surrender or laying down of arms. This comes after Russia even hit at an art school sheltering some 400 people only hours before offering to open two corridors out of the city. Zelensky has condemned the attack, calling it an assault by a mass murderer on hundreds of innocent civilians. Amid a raging war, Ukrainian President Zelensky has called out Israel for not imposing sanctions on Russia. This is Putin's airstrikes leave Ukrainian cities bruised and battered. Here's a detailed report. My colleague Nabila Jamal explains why the port city of Mariupol is on the target and why is Putin obsessed with it? Now, we know that Putin has been constantly upping his offensive on the port city of Mariupol. Why is Putin really obsessed with Mariupol? Well, to break that down for you, here we see that Mariupol serves as a gateway to the Sea of Azov. Now, controlling Mariupol is almost equal to that domination over Sea of Azov. Mariupol is also just about 50 kilometers from Russian border. Very close and has strategic importance for Russia, undoubtedly. It's just about 85 kilometers from Russian-held Donetsk and Luhansk region. And of course, Putin here wants Ukraine to surrender Mariupol at the earliest. This will only help Putin extend dominance from Crimea. In fact, Mariupol, the port city, has been completely, brutally assaulted and war crimes that have carried out has, in fact, unfolded over the last few weeks, even on the 26th day of this war. It's day 26 of Putin's invasion and key Ukrainian cities continue to be battered by Russian airstrikes. Several buildings in the capital city of Kyiv have suffered damages from relentless Russian bombardment. A shopping center in Kyiv was heavily damaged after a massive explosion struck the capital city by Russian shelling leading to six deaths. Forces advancing from the direction of Hostomel to the northwest have been repulsed by fierce Ukrainian resistance. The bulk of Russian forces remain more than 25 kilometers from the center of the city. In spite of the fact that the port city of Mariupol in Ukraine is under siege, Ukraine has rejected Russia's demand to surrender. Ukraine's deputy prime minister said the city is not going to be handed over. No question. Russia has carried out two missile strikes on a training ground as well. Near Odessa, the Ukrainian military shot down a Russian military ship. Russia continues to escalate the assault. Ukrainian civilians are coming out on the streets, undeterred by mortal threat. Ukrainian president has said he is more than willing for talks with Putin, but warned that failure of diplomacy can result in World War III. It is already the 25th day since Russian military has been vainly trying to find imaginary Nazis from whom they allegedly wanted to defend our people. Bruised and battered, Ukraine is showing remarkable courage and resilience in the face of an all-out offensive. Ukraine says there is no question of surrendering the city of Mariupol after Russia called on Ukrainian forces on Sunday to lay down arms. Ukraine's deputy prime minister said, and I quote, there can be no question of any surrender of laying down of arms. He was responding to a Russian general offering safe passage to Ukrainian soldiers of surrender. Ukraine President Zelensky once again has rallied his war on country, rallied behind his war on country, in fact, reminding it of the cardinal duty to fight Russian atrocities. An emotional official statement released from Zelensky's office said, Ukraine doesn't own huge territory, nor does it have nuclear weapons, nor does it have oil or gas. But it has its people and our land, which is gold. Most key Ukrainian cities are being shelled non-stop by the Russians, with residential complexes, hospital schools being bombarded. <laughs> Пожалуйста. 
India today spoke to Katria Kuvita, the survivor from the war who fled from the capital city of Kiev. Listen in. Do you mind showing us your adorable pet again? We really want to see him or her. Oh, huh? I have catched one of them because uh, two and another with my parents, they just live uh, in another flat and uh, one is uh, hiding under... Uh, oh my God, she's adorable, <laughs> Katrina, and, and really s appreciate you uh, putting in so much effort to bringing her uh, safe with you. Uh, but you know, animals are really sharp and sensitive to sounds. Uh, what what did your pet go through? Would you understand what she's feeling? Because I, if you can hold her and, and give us an understanding as to how she's doing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, how is she doing? Uh, she's okay. <laughs> so you see, she's in safety. They understand everything. Uh, they were sleeping yeah. and uh, they were hiding from the bombs uh, with us. Uh, uh, they, they heard everything. They were very frightened. Uh, and they were silent, uh, even cats were silent uh, yeah. so all the way. The way was very difficult for them because we moved uh, by one car uh, and uh, there was li only little space for everybody and we just put them all together. And uh, the, the way was really, really difficult because it was dangerous from the uh, one way and from another way. Uh, we tried to, to take uh, some some things that we need to <clears throat> we don't know if we can uh, go back home in a week in a month yeah. in a year we even don't know if we have uh, where to to go back because uh, uh, today my village is uh, under aggressive attacks uh, yesterday they bombed uh, uh, one more time my village because they can't get into kiev uh, and uh, they tried to to kill everything around uh, the kiev